Hi, in this lesson we will study matrices. Matrices are one of the most important mathematical objects and represent rectangular numerical tables. For example, we have a rectangular numerical table. Let's say 3, 5, minus 6, 0, 1, 2. Usually matrices are written in such square brackets, but sometimes you can also find the matrices in parentheses. This is a matrix, as a rule the matrix is designated with a capital Latin letter. That is, we have matrix A. Pay attention to this matrix. It has three rows and two columns. Then we can designate this matrix as A and write its size below, 3 by 2. These numbers are elements of the matrix. I said that we have a table of numbers. Generally speaking, functions can be called matrix elements. Then we are talking about a functional matrix. But mostly we will work with numerical matrices. These matrix elements are usually denoted by a small latent letter and with certain indexes. I, J. What do these indexes mean? For example, A with index 3, 2 means the element of the matrix that is in the third row, in the second column. Let's find this element, the third row and the second column. That is, in this case, it is the element 2. So 3, 2 equal to 2. Or, for example, A, 2, 2. The second row, the second column. This is the element. That is, in our case, it is 0. In the general case, matrix A with size M by N, or simply matrix A, is called a rectangular table of numbers, which contains M rows and N columns. Its element is A, I, J. Namely, the first element is in the first row here, in the first column. Its index is A, 1, 1. The next element in the first row but in the second column, A1, 2, and so on. The last element in that row is A1, N, because we have N columns. We move on to the second row, A2, 1, A2, 2, and so on, A2, N. This is our second row, and so on. The last row will have the number M, because we have M rows, A, M, 1, A, M, 2, and so on, A, M, N. This is how the matrix is generally denoted. Let's consider certain types of matrices. If there's only one row in the matrix, that is m equal to 1, then the matrix will look like this. It will consist of only one row, a1, a2, and so on, a n. The matrix is called a row vector in this case. If the matrix has only one column, then the matrix will take the following form. Let's say A1, A2, and so on, AM. In this case, the matrix is called a column vector. Pay attention to parentheses here and square brackets here. But generally speaking, the designation doesn't matter. You can use any of them. If the number of rows and the number of columns in the matrix are the same, then we can say that this is a square matrix. And in general form, it is written as follows. A11, A12, and so on, A1N, A21, A22, and so on, A2N, and so on, AN1, AN2, ANN. Such a matrix will be square. It has the same number of rows and the same number of columns. In this square matrix, we can select the so called square diagonal, namely the elements that lie on this red line. Please take a note that these elements have the same row number and column number. Such elements are called elements of the main diagonal, and they are written as i, j, but i is equal to j. This is our main diagonal. There is also the concept of a secondary diagonal. This is another diagonal, which let's denote it with two lines, our secondary diagonal. We can perform various arithmetic operations with matrices. Let's start with addition, how to add two matrices, and what happens as a result. As a result of the addition of two matrices, it will naturally be a matrix, but we can only add matrices that have the same sizes. That is, if matrix A has sizes M by N, then matrix B should also have sizes M by N, otherwise we cannot add the matrices. Matrices are added and subtracted element by element. That is, as a result, we get some matrix C of the same size. The elements of this matrix C are obtained by adding the elements of matrix A with the elements of matrix B. 
Let's consider an example. Let's have a 2 by 2 matrix. Now add a matrix of the same size. So, what's the result? We have two matrices of the same size, so we can add them. The result is a matrix of the same size, and its elements are found as follows. We have to add their corresponding elements. 1 plus minus 2. This is minus 1. So there will be minus 1. We add these elements as well. 2 plus 0. 2 here. 3 and 1. This is 4. 4 and 2. It will be 6. That is, the addition of matrices occurs element by element. The subtraction of matrices occurs similarly. That is, if I would want not to add, but to subtract matrices, then I would simply subtract the elements of the second matrix from the elements of the first matrix. Then we would have, for example, 1 minus minus 2. That would be 3. 2 minus 0. It would still be 2 here. 3 minus 1. There would be 2 here. 4 minus 2. There would be 2 here. That is, the addition and subtraction of matrices occurs element by element. Another important action with matrices is the multiplication of a matrix by a number. Let's say we have matrix A, and we multiply it by some number, lambda. Multiplying a matrix by a number is quite simple. To multiply a matrix by a number, you need to multiply each element of this matrix by a corresponding number. For example, let's say we have a number minus 2. Let's multiply it by such a matrix. To do so, we multiply this number by each element. Minus 2 times 1, minus 2, minus 2 times 0, 0. Minus 2 times minus 3, 6. Minus 2 times 5, minus 10, minus 2 times 0 and minus 2 times 1. That is, in order to multiply a matrix by a number, we simply multiply all the elements of this matrix by the corresponding number. And finally, let's take a look at one example. We have matrices A, B and the lambda number. It is required to calculate such an expression. What will we get as a result? First, let's see if matrix A and matrix B have the same size. Yes, so we can subtract them from each other. And that means that the result will be a matrix of the same size. Let's try to calculate it. First, we multiply the lambda by b. What do we get? 2. To multiply a number by a matrix, we multiply each element of this matrix by a number. We have lambda 2, and we have this matrix, so we multiply. 2 by 0 is 0. 2 by 5, 10. 2 by minus 1, 2 by 2, 2 by 3, and 2 by 4. That is, as a result of multiplying lambda by b, we have such a matrix. Now we need to subtract this matrix from matrix A. As I said, we subtract element by element. We get a matrix of the same size as a result. We subtract element by element. We subtract the same element from 2. 2 minus 0, that's 2. Minus 1 minus 10, minus 11. 0 minus minus 2, 2. 3 minus 4, minus 1. 5 minus 6, and 1 minus 8, minus 7. That is A minus lambda B, turns out to be such a matrix. Thus, addition and subtraction of matrices occurs element by element, and to multiply a matrix by a number, we simply multiply this number by all elements of this matrix. This video lesson is over.